Well, the uh, NBA talks were going nowhere between owners and players. They just were hitting a roadblock every time. They hoped to make some progress. just wouldn't happen. So a federal mediator had been in touch with both sides and said he'd like to give this a try and see if he could help them get moving forward. And uh, both sides said, we, you know, maybe it'll, a new voice will help the process. So he's coming in Tuesday. Owners have meetings on Wednesday and Thursday, and hopefully David Stern would like to be able to bring them you know, word that they made progress and hopefully even a deal today. Well, there are two sticking points, really. Uh, one has been the way they're going to split the revenues, players and owners. Uh, the league would like a 50-50 split. Uh, the players got 57% in the old deal. They don't want to go below 53% in the new one. So they're pretty far apart on those two, even though the numbers don't sound that far apart. It's about $40 million over the course of one season for each percentage point. So it's, uh, they're at least you know, $120 million or so apart so far. And the, the uh, structure of the salary cap, the, the players want to keep basically the same system there is now where you, teams can go above the cap through various ways. The owners want something like the NFL where it's more of a hard cap where once you hit the limit you can't go above it. This, that will force the teams to curb their spending. Sorry. Two weeks have been canceled uh, so far, and, and David Stern said basically last week on one interview with WFAN in New York, he said his gut tells him there will be no games on Christmas if there's no deal today. So that seems a little bit of a stretch. The players feel that that's kind of a, he's just uh, maybe throwing out a, you know, a deadline that's not really, it's arbitrary, they called it. But, you know, it definitely there could be cancellations coming soon if there's no real progress today and possibly, you know, by the end of this week. Yeah, it's it definitely, you know, as David Stern says, if, if you know, we don't start making progress soon, the offer's only going to get worse. Once both sides start losing money, they try and make up that money through the, the proposals, and they're going to ask for more than they're asking for now, possibly. And then, you know, yes, it's, you know, most people don't think they'll lose the season, but no one can rule it out right now unless they start doing something really quickly. No one really knows yet. Uh, going by the schedule from the previous lockout, it was really the first week in January was the deadline to cancel the whole season. So... You know, similar to, you know, we would think around the new year would be if there's no basketball by then, we might miss everything. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point, obviously.